the inside view and the outside view when it comes to strategy. So come strategy season, we, we lock ourselves in this thing called the strategy room. It's like a hermetically sealed box. Now it has a lot of data in it. The packs are really, really thick. There's an awful lot of appendices and the Excel spreadsheets have lots of tabs. It's not for lack of information, but are we actually getting any smarter? You see, the problem is as our knowledge grows, uh, something else happens at the same time, our confidence grows, but guess what? The confidence grows faster than the knowledge. So in some ways, the better informed we are about the specifics of a situation, the less calibrated we become to understanding our own limitations. That's pretty dangerous when it comes to strategy. We end up reading our own mail. And you know the problem with that? Blind spots. You just don't know the data that you don't have. There's the, there's the graveyard of silent failures. There's the unknown unknowns. Okay, so what we talk about in our book here is what happens when you bring the outside view into the strategy room? What happens when you literally open the windows of the strategy room? And rather than looking at the specific details of your case, let's look at the lessons from thousands of companies. Let's look at, hey, what are the odds? If you say you're gonna do X, Y, and Z, how often have companies doing those things actually succeeded in the past? Now, the outside view can be confronting because it's kind of rough. Like, how can we say with 10 variables that we've kind of predicted 80% of whether a company goes up the power curve or not. But guess what? You can. It's kind of the shocking truth of the outside view. It turns out big statistics, big data is very powerful. <laughs>